some days the world just seems sad. Teen in custody after five found dead in shooting at Washington State home. That's a lot of words. Let's see what they're talking about, cave dwellers. Four days after a 15-year-old boy allegedly killed five of his family members inside their home, court documents reveal a harrowing. Five of his... Dang, that's a weird way they got this. Five? Damn. In aftermath, police say the suspect called 911 out of breath and claimed that it was his 13-year-old brother, Benjamin Humiston, who had, quote, just shot my whole family and committed suicide, too. The RP's not saying that the brother had shot at all the other family members. But as that was happening, a second 911 call was coming in, one from a neighbor. The sister who went to the neighbor's house is now saying that our caller is the one who was the shooter and was alive when she left the house. Yo, that brother, yo, what movie was he watching? He tried to blame it on the other brother, but the sister got away. So if the, he would have killed him and him, and then, oh, man, they would have still thought that was suspicious, I guess, probably because he was alive, and they probably would have told that, like, he shot him. Unless he had the weird thought to, like, shoot himself or something, but the sister got away, and he still tried to do that? That's crazy. Oh, According to investigators, the 11-year-old survived gunshots to her head and neck, pretended to play dead as the suspect stood over her and then managed to escape through a fire window in her room, then running to the neighbor's house with a stunning allegation. She told police the suspect... So he was making a call. He probably left her, thought she was dead, and went left and turned her back. That little girl's smart. Oh, my God. What was he mad about? Fortnite? The suspect shot her and her family with a silver Glock handgun that belonged to their father. Authorities now say the 15-year-old staged the scene before police arrived so others would believe his younger brother, Benjamin, committed the murders and killed himself. It's created a shadow over our town. The murders have shocked the community, including Rhea Robertson, 9-year-old Joshua Humiston's soccer coach. He always smiling. All of the kids were always smiling. After the initial court hearing Tuesday, the suspect's stupid. lawyer said, we want the court to know that our client is a 15-year-old boy who enjoys mountain biking and fishing and has no criminal history. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles. Oh, my God. Can you imagine that, guys? It was something petty. He's going to regret this for the rest of his life. His parents had no idea. Probably they never seen it coming. Oh, that's crazy. God over these people. The sister's surviving, able to tell her story. If she don't survive, we don't even know that. We probably all hear the story. I'm like, yeah, that's a little fishy. Come on. But, hey, you can't prove it. And he would have took it all away. He said, yeah, no, he did it. He was crazy. And they would have had no idea. Everybody else probably would have knew it was that kid. But if you know him, you probably know, but we wouldn't have known. That's crazy. RIP to that family, that father. You got to keep the guns away from these kids. Teach them that that's not a, a weapon. For, I mean, that's not a toy. It's a weapon. You know, Fortnite, Call of Duty, these kids play it. They get desensitized like it's rebirth and you're going to come back. You don't. He probably just snapped over something senseless. And whatever it is, it's senseless, right? Parents telling him no about something or whatever that is, man. I don't even know what to say about that. That's just crazy. Love your kids. Tell them if you discipline them, let them know why you're disciplining them. Let them know why this will happen. This is why some kids act out like that because they say they're getting disciplined. They don't even know what they did wrong. But let me know what y'all think, K family. Jeez.